Today we're going to add fractions with different denominators using a tape diagram to find the common denom denominator. So in our example we have 4 tenths plus 6 fifths. So I'm going to start by drawing a tape diagram of 4 tenths. And make sure I color in 4 out of the 10. Then I'm going to draw a tape diagram with 6 fifths. Now when I look at 6 fifths, I know it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So I know that I have one whole. And if we're working with fifths, then 5 fifths make a whole. So I'm going to make a tape diagram with 5 fifths first. And I know that all 5 fifths have to be colored in because we actually have 6 fifths. So there's 5 fifths. And now to show the other fifth, I'm going to make another box of fifths. There we go. Sorry about that. And uh, so I'm going to make another box of fifths. One, two, three, four, five. And if five fifths make a hole and I have six fifths, then I have one extra fifth. So I'm going to color in just one extra. Now I need to make fifths into tenths. So I'm going to go through and I'm draw a line down the middle and make fifths into halves. So now when I count my boxes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve tenths plus four tenths. Now they're in the same denominator. I can add them together easily and end up with sixteen tenths. If I want to change it to a mixed fraction, 10 tenths make a whole, and I have 6 extra. Part of our homework is going to ask us to solve with a number line. Students can choose to use a number line or they can continue with the tape diagrams. But if they want to do the number line, this will walk you through it. We have 6 tenths plus 1 half. So I'm going to draw a number line that shows one half and my zero and one benchmark. Now just like the tape diagrams where I split it in half and to make tenths I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to split this in half. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths is half, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and one whole would be ten tenths. So to add on our number line, we're going to start on one half and you um, bump up six tenths. So I'm going to bump up one two, three, four, five, and I realize I need one more, so I'm going to add on one more, so I'd have one and one tenth. So my answer would be one and one tenth. So they're going to draw their number line, add their half mark, or the smaller fraction first, and then split up their number line just like they split up their tape diagram.